All right, we got the winter bow doe kill here. We're gonna be cutting her up today and show everybody how it's done. We got our shot there. Do a full skinning video, get the meat out of it, and then show you how we process it inside. All right, so the first step is you're gonna take the knife, come in, careful not to cut too deep. Go right up the back leg here. Come out, do that on each side. Cut from the inside out so you don't get hair all over your meat. All right, the second step we're gonna do here is pull this back and just cut along here. Next step is just start pulling this out. Next thing we're gonna do is get up here. We're gonna cut in a circle around. Pull this out a little bit, come up here, cut around in a circle. Now when you get here, careful not to cut this or this little deer will come crashing down on you. All right, so now once you get here, keep your knife handy. Come back, one more cut to separate the hair and start peeling. Come up here, separate this. Start peeling your deer on down. Now we're gonna go over to the other side here and do the same thing we did over there.
on going here. Cut this little flap. So, we're down here, end of the hide. This is what I usually do. Go up here, get your knife in between here, come in up behind the shoulder blade. Careful not to cut too deep, you don't wanna hit the back strap. Just carefully come around the bone here and just follow your way down and this is quite some damage done by a bow here I mean it's amazing come over here down on found the other side It takes a second to find the shoulder blade here. All oh, damage from the bow. You can see the top of the shoulder blade here. Leases. Hold it. Just start ripping it down. All right, so now I got that like that. We're gonna come up to the tastiest part on the deer here. So known as the foie mignon on a cow, we call it the back strap here. You're gonna run your knife along the spine. And just keep working your way down. You get into the end here and just keep on going. And then head over to the other side of the spine. And just keep going down. Should be able to hear your knife up against the back side of the rib cage. Go up. Okay, we're gonna come here and cut this way now. Depending how fatty your deer is, you should be able to see it. I just like to run my finger here and get this little membrane and little layer of junk out so I can see, make sure not to miss anything. So I just come down here and follow it on down the deer. This deer is not super meaty. It's a little skinny. It's on the late end of the winter here in New Jersey. So make sure you cut all the way through. Come out and just start cutting your way. This 
gets in your way. Just give it a little slice. Now, they should just start peeling out like a sock once you get about halfway down. Still, just run your knife along the back side. See, they're just starting to peel out like a sock now. See, it runs all the way down. Boom. Got our nice, nice flaming yarn here off a of white tailed doe. Put it into our meat pile. Now we're going to head over to the other side and do the same exact thing. Now, if you go in right here, cut there. Sometimes, if you had just peel this a little bit. actually see where it ends you could just peel this just rip this right off here strap here this creates less work to do when you're inside preparing it so now what I do is I just come along here and rip this, put it inside the carcass. Now you can see exactly where everything is. Come in with your knife, follow it down, come back up here. Do this. You want to get as close to the bone as you can. See, get down to the end again, it just starts peeling on out. Boom, got another perfect white tail back strap. Back into your pot. If you got a little, little line that runs here, just come in with your knife and Get this little piece. Just like to get every little piece I can. Come over here, it's not really much, but throw it in your pot. All right, you can see we're about halfway done here. Cutting up our deer. We got the shoulders separated. The back straps all cut out. Now we just gotta go up here, 
to the back legs and get some meat here off the shoulders. And then we'll be inside grinding it and processing it, getting it ready to go in the freezer. All right, now we're off here to the back legs. When you got them, where you got them, I just let them age. When you let them age here a little bit, just come in here and cut any of this extra fat or hair here. Just this little slither. Fat here. Come up, throw it in the rack. All right, so when you get to here, you want to cut until you don't feel the bone come in and run right along this bone here go into the hip muscle go out cut right up against that bone you'll come out right here with this nice big piece of meat i like to just come in here and cut off this fat all right if there's any hair, I like to clean it off a little bit. Throw it on in a pot. Now we're off to the back side of the deer. All right, so come right here. Follow the spoon down. Come in, follow it back. Going nice and deep here. Run the bone up. You'll feel there's a bone here. You come out and you go up over a little and then right back in. And this whole piece of meat pops right off. Right here into the pot. Then you just come over here and Clean this up. Get all these little pieces. There's a little, nice little square you could get up in here. If you come in and get your knife up in there. And you can usually Get this piece of fat off before you even get in the house. Got a nice little another piece of meat. Come along here. Make sure you get all this. Nice piece here. Then I like to come in here. You still see you got a little bit left. Go up to wherever the hair is. Come in and get that little piece. These little pieces here. Come here. Get this, this isn't really much here, but come raging up against the bone. Oh, that piece is down. Drop it here, their leg. The other leg here, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. Come right up against the bone, get as close as you can and run your knife right up in there. Go out, come around. Come here and get this. Get this off here. Put it over your pot so you don't drop it on the ground. Drop it in there. Put all your scraps up here inside the carcass. Clean this little bit of hair off. And then we're gonna come over here to the back side, just like we did on the other side. We're gonna come down. Run your knife right along the bone. Go in. 
out. All right, so we're all, all done here cutting up our deer. We got everything we could get. You can see on the straps, there's pretty much nothing. Absolutely nothing left here on the shoulder. Down here, see where the bow just absolutely obliterated it. All right, now we're off to the next step. All right, now we're off to the next step. We're all done with the deer. We're gonna go inside and start grinding it up. So I was looking at this stell I got here and we could see that the hooves are extremely disshaped. It looks like almost as if the hoof stopped growing and then started growing again. All four of them are like this. See, it just simply will break off back ones like this this one here you can see it just snaps right off this is a result of the deer having some sort of sickness prior such as EHD or most likely EHD, because that hit our area pretty hard this summer. But this deer is totally, 100% still safe to eat. Put a link to an article describing this below.